Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, I removed the fuel pump from a S70. I think it was a low mileage car. However, it looked like somebody replaced the pump. My guess is the pump was probably replaced in error. They were having issues because I also seen that the cam sensor was kind of butchered together. At any rate, what I'm going to do is take this fuel pump out of this sending unit and only purchase the pump from the salvage yard. First thing I'm going to do is reach in here and unplug that electrical plug. Somebody put a different hose on here, so I'm going to undo that hose, fuel hose, and then I'm going to reach down in there and unplug those two wires. Next thing I'm going to do is pry this fuel sock off of the bottom of it. Next, I'm pushing the pump up through the bottom of the sending unit, and I'm going to try to slide it out this side of the uh, pump house. Okay, so here's the pump, the electrical connector, and the hose that was on it and it's been removed from this pump housing unit. I'm not sure if this means much, but I'm back probing the plugs on the fuel pump, and there you can see the fuel pump there, and the reading I'm getting on my own meter at times 10 is between 5 and 6. So, if you have a bad fuel pump, it may give a different reading than that. Okay, here's the fuel pump. I got the uh, leads jumped here. And I got a positive there, and I'm getting ready to ground this one on the battery. And that should make the fuel pump turn on when I touch this on the battery. So as you can hear, the fuel pump is working good and strong. So I'm going to go ahead and ship it out. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.